How's it going everybody? In this video I'm going to be cleaning up this engine a little bit more. Um, in the last video I stripped it, it was super clean, it had really good results. Now I'm going to get the aluminum looking a little bit better. I'm not trying to get it to look uh, fresh out of the factory, just a little bit nicer so it'll look better in the final project. I'm going to start off by uh, taking all the hardware off that's easy to get off and uh, put it in the wire wheel, maybe a scotch bright pad, kind of making it look a little bit nicer. And then we'll go ahead and uh, clean up the cases a little bit. Get the stator cover off. I'm gonna go ahead and get these little uh, cover screws off. Get the air boot uh, Allen bolts out too. These are pretty crusty. Yeah, they'll clean up nice. This air boot shot. Yeah, see there's light coming through there. Look at that. People will be for me running the engine like that, so. I already looked inside the cylinder, it looks okay, but Completely garbage. Reeds have seen better days too. So that's what happens when you run your engine with a bad boot. Water in there. A little bit of dirt too. That's no good. Hopefully they didn't run it for long, but just to make sure I get that all out before I start it up. Take out the clutch cover bolts while I'm at it. I'm thinking of uh, doing a mirror polish in this cover if I can get it there. All right, now I'm gonna take all this hardware, uh, take it over to the grinder with the wire wheel. I also have a Scotch-Brite pad wheel and uh, see if we can clean them up real nice. For safety, I have a, a mask and safety glasses and I also have a pair of earmuffs. Now that I've got all the, the nuts cleaned up with the wire wheel, I'm going to go put them on the scotch Bright disc now. That's why you got to wear safety glasses. So here's the difference. This is just a wire wheel, and this is with the Scotch Bright wheel, so it gets it a lot more shiny. All right, I still have all these this hardware to do. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it, and then show you guys what it looks like in the end. I'll give you a real good look what it looks like now. Lots of rust, corrosion. Okay, so I got all the hardware in. Um, got it all clean, looking nice. Turned out really good. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I clean up the cases. So first off, make sure you wear a mask. You don't wanna get all that aluminum dust in your lungs. Okay, now I like to start with Scotch-Brite because it's more of a mild abrasive and you just really uh, press hard and where it's not real dirty here. You see it's already starting to clean there. Doesn't really matter, like you can go like this, you can go like swirls, you can go one direction. Doesn't really matter here. Once it gets pretty clean like that, you can tell it's not like super shiny or nothing. I mean, it's shiny, but not like really shiny. Um, get a, just a stainless steel wire brush, and that seems to make it a little more shiny. There, so that's the end result I'm looking for, but if you want really shiny, let me show you something. Get a buffering wheel and really make this shine. There we go, so that was about a minute, just a little bit with the scotch Sprite, a little bit with the wire brush here, and then, um, if you don't have wire brushes, you can just use scotch Sprite, but it's just gonna be a little bit more dull. Let's go another spot and uh, show you guys again. Go here. 
See here we got some different uh, like heights and all that, so we're gonna have to go like this more than uh, like that. I'm gonna go with the wire brush now. All right, there we go again. So nice and shiny. A lot better than just this nasty red corrosion, dirt, junk. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the engine and then uh, show you guys what it looks like in the end. I'll also uh, time myself so you guys can get a good estimate of how long it'll take. Well, I got it as good as I want it to be and that was right around 35 minutes. So, I got the bottom all nice. I mean, some of those spots are really tough to get to. So, yeah, just the top here, the sides. Got the cylinder pretty good. Front there. This is uh, not the cover that I'm gonna be using. This here's the cover I'm gonna be using. And, uh, I, I just put that on there so I won't get this all scuffed. I spent some time getting that nice and polished. So yeah, this will be the one that's going on here. So yeah, again, that's just, you know, wire brush, scotch bright. I ended up uh, using a little uh, poker thing. Um, I believe it's called a scribe to kind of get in some of the small areas, you know get a little bit of the dirt and corrosion out of there. And then just, I ended up using this just in some of the area areas, but it wasn't, it didn't really make all that much difference. So yeah, you really just need a wire brush, scotch bright, and some time, and you can make your engine uh, really nice like this. Well, thanks for watching the video. Hope you picked up a couple tips for uh, how to clean your engine a little better and faster. Uh, yeah, this will last uh, for a very long time if you keep up on regular uh, cleaning after every ride and make sure you get it nice and dry. But if you don't, I mean, you just kind of keep it uh, dirty, it'll it'll still last a bit, but I mean, you won't even be able to see it under the dirt anyway. So you just keep your ride clean and it'll, it'll stay clean. Uh, uh, you should stick around on the channel for a bit. Uh, I have my uh, 2001 YZ250 right behind me. It's both of them all over the floor there. Um, yeah, that'll be going together here soon. I'll be able to drop a video hopefully around a week or two after this one drops. Yeah, that about wraps this one up. So thank you and have a great day.